Welcome to Survival Mode. My question is, what if we was only given 72 hours to prepare for a total fallout? 72 hours. What if we was only given that little short time frame to prepare, to get things together? We're in so much of global conflict right now. Mm -hmm. It could be likely mm -hmm. to where we have to have a time frame in our mind to think three days. Mm -hmm. What would be, what would that look like? What, what would you do? What would be the first thing you do mm -hmm. if we was only given three days right. due to this environment that we're living in globally? Mm -hmm. Everything's just happening so fast. Everywhere. You know, every day is a new story. It's a new right. news story here, there. Right, right. New conflict. All over the, all Everywhere. over the world. Mm -hmm. And we were just given three days. What would be the first thing come across your mind? Right. Seventy-two hours. Mm -hmm. We were in the farmers market, and we were shopping, and we was getting something from from the back, and all of a sudden. Everybody phone start going off. And, and, and the alert came across mm -hmm. that we were in a pandemic. Mm -hmm. and, and just think about three days of today, 2024. Mm -hmm. Giving us three days just to get everything together. Actually, I remember being, when we were in that farmer's market, we were in the back, like Ms. H said, we were, you know, getting some stuff from back there. And... Um, when the alerts went off, you know, actually before we went back there, we were in the farmer's market shopping, yeah. but it was just a normal amount of people. I mean, it was a lot of people there. It was always a lot of people at that farmer's market. So it was a lot of people there. But once we went to the back to get what we needed and the alerts took place, once we came from back there, back to the main uh, sales floor area, there were thousands of, upon thousands of people. And we literally were just bumper to bumper with yes, people we were. and all we wanted to do was get out of the store yes you know i mean people were already um on high alert anyway wearing masks and all of that but yeah. it i guess it just didn't really dawn on people the seriousness of the situation until it was announced that we were in a global pandemic and then at that moment the stores were just flooded with thousands of people Yes, it was. And unfortunately, stores like that sold out of so many non-perishable items within that day or so. So fast. So fast. My, another question is, how much medication do you have to, to last? Mm -hmm. how, much, how much medicine? You know, that's, that's one of the things that you think about during uh, three days, 72 hours. You know, do you have enough for your children? Do you have enough for your parents or your whole household? How much medication? Hmm. That's something to think about. And another thing, how much water do you have? Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't really think about water, but water is very important. You think about that. You know, how much do you have in your house now? You know, a lot of people... Uh, they got water, but how much do you think you would need for a, a long period of time? You know, because when somebody, when someone give you three days, oh man, the, the list can go from mm -hmm. like this to this, you know. Think about all the things you need. Right. Especially if you have children. Mm -hmm. Think about that. If you have children, you know, three days to, to get ready for a total fallout. Yeah, and don't think that, like, you'll just be able to go and get whatever you need whenever you need it. Because if you remember the pandemic, within a week or so, people were fighting over toilet paper. People were fighting over fuel, you know. So don't just think it's going to be easy. Now, I know that people who are already prepped and ready are going to be saying, well, I won't be anywhere. I'm good, right? And I understand that. But I'm talking to the people who are not good right now. Yeah. And to the people who may not be thinking on 
this level of preparedness is, you know, like Mr. H said, what is that going to look like for you? Yeah. And, and another thing, you don't, you don't want to get out at the same time as everybody else is getting out. So those three days, everybody going to be out. Everybody. Mm -hmm. Everybody. And, and just like uh, even during the pandemic in, in grocery stores, when people were trying to go grocery shopping, people was robbing them. Uh, Stealing their groceries. From the grocery store door to their car. They was robbing. Yep. Yep. Sure was. People was pushing baskets out full of groceries, not paying for them. Yeah, that's that's true. But I, you know, I'll never forget those stories where people coming out with groceries spent all they had to buy food for their children. And by the time they could get to their minivans to load it up, mm -hmm. somebody was there at gunpoint robbing them or others were snatching their baskets, you know? So when you think about situations like what Mr. H said, you only got three days. And don't think that that's far-fetched because if you think about it, do you honestly think you're going to be given a three, four week notice, a two month notice that something like this could possibly be coming down the pike? Probably not. It's going to be last minute. Yeah. And so that's why I think we ought to get started now. Yeah. On our preps. Yeah. Because we're not going to get a warning. No. We're not going to get a warning. And another thing, when it, when it get bad like that, people are going to show their true colors. That's true. They're going to come after the week. Yeah. They're going to think, okay, well, we can go and take their stuff. They look like they elderly, uh, yeah. this and that. You know, so basically, if they give a three-day window saying, hey, it's finna get ready to hit the fan. Yeah. So many people are going to be wilding out out there. That's true. They're going to be wilding out. That's so true. what we got to do, we got to get ready. We got to get ready for when it do comes. You just start thinking about it. Yeah, what would you do? You if know? you only had three days before stuff hits the fan. Three and days. we're not talking about something that's going to last for a short amount of time. We're talking about global conflict here. Yeah. So if there's global conflict and you only got a certain amount of time to prepare yourself and your family, what is that going to look like for you? Yeah. And what are you going to do? And then you think about this. <clears throat> when she just said a global conflict. Um, what about the, 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 the docks, you know, what about the imports? Um, are they going to be coming in like they normally would? Is the big box stores going to be getting smaller supplies? Mm -hmm. More people going in, less food coming in to, for people to buy. Right. And, you know, just think about that. It's going to be really, really something serious when the food get low, That's you know. That's right. So start your... Start preparing now, uh, people. Start preparing now. Start preparing now. Because what we're saying, it may sound far-fetched to some, but it is not far-fetched at all. And you, I tell you what, we would rather be wrong than right. But if we are right in what we're saying, go ahead and start preparing right now. Yes, because three days isn't a long time. Mm -hmm. The blessing to this video, I think, is that making these videos now could buy us a lot of time because we could be thinking preparing ahead of time and get it a lot of things done yeah ahead of time instead of just in three days right so start today yeah start today yeah. on on your medicine yeah. um children medicine medicine for for you yeah um start on um stuff that you really want to enjoy, you know, you yeah. know, during a stressful time. Yeah. You know. So make sure you have those essentials first. Yes. Because that's going to be key. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, um, a lot of people don't really think about, um, you know, like uh, clothing and stuff, you know, like winter clothes, you know, because because right. I know, you know, it, you know, the weather changed so, so drastically, mm -hmm. you know, in, in, in so many different things that have happened, but you got to get prepared in these three days. You really want to have all that stuff really out the way, but in three days, think about all the preps. So start making a list. 
Yeah. Yeah. Start making a list now, you know, in different categories. Just start making a list and also share what your list or your thoughts are. Share it in the comment section below because whatever's on your list, somebody else probably didn't think about it. And if you post it in the comment section below, that's how we're going to be helping each other to get our list together to make sure we got our stuff together. All right, y'all? Yes. So it's getting dark out here. So. Yes, it's getting dark out here, y'all. Yeah. But uh, 72 hours, what would you do? Yeah. The environment is getting very, very cloudy and dark when it yeah. comes to the global situation that's going on. Yeah. So thank y'all for joining Survival Mode. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Put your comments in the comment section. Yes. Thank y'all so much for joining in. Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings.